Also, they allow you to choose five items, and I guess you don't need a new weapon, do you? We need it. Didn't we lose uh, our bow? No, no, we, no, we lost our arrows. Yep. But hey, there's a quill with six fresh arrows if you want that. There's also a rope, a potion of Lam's Boer for healing four endurance points, a lantern, three meals, and three fire seeds. Uh, this is sort of tough to keep up with all the place and spare thing we have. Hold on a moment. Should have done this a thousand times ago. Just debate whether you, we need some items or not. I will just be doing something back here. Mm. Arrows, I'd say. I would agree. Mm. Just a moment. That leaves you with four items you can choose. Hmm. Any other suggestions? Um, did we take the potion of Mount Spool? Uh, no, you haven't taken anything but the quiver with six arrows. Oh, then I Let's think take you a potion. Take it. Okay. Potion of Lance Pool restores four endurance points. Mm. Alright. That was one item. Three left. Well, if it's just the same as they usually is, then it's probably also good idea to stock up on some meals. Even though yeah. we can hunt in most places. Mm. Yeah. How many do you want? You have three items left to take and there's three meals. What else was there? I'm sorry, I just... There's a rope, lantern and three fire seats besides the three meals. Let's take a rope. We need a rope. We lost our... We don't want the old one, remember? Yeah. Yeah, we might need that one. How many fire seeds do we have left from last time? One. 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 Yeah, we have one fire seed. Let's just take uh, the rope and then... How much space does the rope uh, take up? The rope takes up uh, one space. Okay, then, a robe and uh, two rations. Sounds reasonable enough to me. Right, that right. was the items. Okay. And Rana, no you have noted that you have six arrows again, right? Yeah, I'm still bothering over here, so yeah, I am. I just need to go down to the arrows and... Yeah, okay, fine, I need to... Yeah, yeah, six arrows. And I'm trying to organize a better system for arranging what kind of items we have and how much they fill out. I've had a mm. bit of difficulty with that. Actually, I just noted this. It says on the food, if you have chosen the Magna has Discipline of Hunt Mastery as one of your skills, you will not need to take off a meal when instructed to eat. Oh. So, if we have, if we have taken off what? Well, since you have Hunt Mastery, it's basically universal now, so you actually don't need the meals, apparently. I okay. think. Okay, then, then we don't take them. Then let's take the, the fire seeds. They're probably useful. Uh, okay. Kick. So we had the healing potion, and we had the rope. Hold on. I'm organizing a little bit of system over here so I can actually keep track of all our items. That would probably be a good idea. Before it is just now we have this item. Now we do not have this item. And yeah, it gets confusing over here. And then we have the, uh, let me see, we had the, we had the lantern, who also fills up a bit. No, you don't have a lantern, you lost that last time. Whoops. And you didn't pick a new one. Rope, healing potion. Well, then let's take a fire seat, let's and the lantern. Okay, lantern we add. All right. I think that and means we are equipped for our mission. Let me see. One would think so. Hold on, I just need to make sure I got every detail right. 
What if you got his net? But um. <laughs> In any case, what did you want to know, Rana? Yeah, I just need to sort down the items we have. Until now, I have filled out healing potion, rope, lantern, and let me see. Any other items? Any other items that fill up? Mm, I need to know. No, uh, fire seeds increased by one, but I don't know if you have noticed that. So you have two fire seeds now. Aha. Uh -huh. So um, yeah, that would mean that we have two less bases and. And they're special items, Rana. Okay, it is the whole confusion between items and special items. Until now, I have yeah, I have made a block where I actually placed different items. So yeah, we have three spaces in this one and five left. So yeah, okay. Uh, hopefully, the way you should ha have done it to make it easy is you make a list, and on top of each list, it says special weapon and backpack. So you have yeah, like I a have list. Backpack. Yeah, I have backpack. I have special items. Yeah, I have sorted those out. And yeah, it's just because I cannot... Yeah, okay, fine. There's more control of it now. I got it, I got it. Good. And in and you have leveled up. So now you are a Kai Master Tutelary. 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 T-U-T-E-L-A-R-I. Yeah. That is totally Yeah, okay, thank you, thank you, grammar correction. Says the my grammar machine knows more about that word than I do. Huh. And um Interesting. Uh you have both animal control and curing right now, right? Yeah. Yes. Correct. Well in that case, um apparently due to well, I'd say your studies of healing and the natural world and all that your endurance points increase by three. Hi. Oh, so that brings us to how many total? Let me see. That would bring us to thirty. Okay, process and process. Hmm. Okay, okay. I think I got it. I think I got it. Yes, things seem to be under control. Because goodness <clears throat> knows we do not want an overpowered Kai Master wandering about. Well, last uh, time I think we got proof that that wouldn't be the case. Yeah. Also, um, some of your disciplines have been improved. Uh, first of all, animal control has been improved by reaching the la rank of primate. So that means that you can now... Um, control monkeys! <laughs> no, but it allow no. but your skill now allows you to repel animals intent on harming you by blocking their sense of taste and smell. Hmm. Okay, I had just written down on the animal control. Can communicate, control and determine animals' intentions, can block hostile animals animal senses. Also, since you have reached the rank of tutelary, your pathmanship has up been upgraded. You can now detect enemy ambushes within 500 yards. Unless you are weakened for, for some reason. Hmm. Like, for example, you are really wounded. Oh. Okay, let me see. On the path from Sheep I've written, reveals the right direction, read foreign language and symbols, always knows where north is, can detect enemy positions within uh, 500 yards unless wounded. Yeah. Also, divination have been, has been upgraded. You can now oh. recognize objects and creatures with magical skills and abilities unless they somehow shield it from detection. Hmm. Yeah, and since you cut out, you have to repeat that entire sentence to me again. You can detect the magic in unshielded objects and creatures. In objects and creatures. And we have Magna Cat Wisdom, which is the basic blah 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 blah. Choose your blah 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 blah. Good luck, blah 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 blah. No need to waste time on what we already know. Okay, <clears throat> you leave Elsian under cover of darkness on a trading ship bound for Garthen. It is a trim vessel, lean, proud, and simple in design. 
one of a thousand such ships that sail the chain of landlocked seas and lakes dividing the northern and southern continents of Magnamund. Its passage along this great waterway called the Tentarius is unlikely to invite undue attention, and it is for this reason that the Elder Magi have placed you aboard. See, they give you a boat again! Then we can sing boat songs. The nature of your voyage you is secret, but you are not alone, for a guide has been chosen to accompany you on your dangerous mission. His name is Pido, a tall, ebony-skinned vaqueros who is a master of the art of battle magic, the guy who apparently got a cameo last time. Pido? Pido. Well, I wonder, at least it isn't I wonder, Pido. How, long, I wonder how long it lasts until this guy dies. We'll see. Among his fellow warriors, he is a high-ranking lord, respected and honored for his bravery and skill in the field of battle. Now, for the mission that lies ahead, he has exchanged his golden scarlet robes for the cloths of a commoner, a rowing adventurer with a sword for hire. It is a disguise you too have adopted to reveal your true identity on the long voyage to the land of Telestria, where a rendezvous with royalty awaits you. You sail westwards, a benevolent wind filling the triangular sail and skimming the ship across the still blue waters. The hull seems to slide over the surface of the water, rather than cut its way through, and you can't and you cannot help but wonder if Pyro has conjured some magic to speed your passage. Your first port of call is the city of Talon, where food stocks and fresh waters are replenished. Then the voyage continues along the Tentarius to the port of Orello, the last stopping place before your ship bound journey ends at Garthen, crown capital of Telestria. It is an hour past midnight when you dock at Varnas Harbor in Garthen, a sprawling network of quays and cracked stone jetties that shelter great fleets of merchants, traders, and dows. Uh. Silently, like a shadow, you disembark and follow Pido through the twisting harbor streets, slowly climbing the steep stairs that connect one level of Garthen to the next. Rusty lanterns cast pools of yellow light beneath the tempered balconies, illuminating the stalls of merchants and vendors who will haggle, brag, and barter in the crowded streets till dawn. Pido halts at an iron shot door and wraps the grill with the hilt of his blue steel sword. A man's face appears, stern and handsome with smooth dark hair and keen intelligent eyes. Wait, only the face? Only the face. A smile of recognition softens his lordly features when he sees Pido. In an instant, the door swings open and you're ushered inside. The man's name is Adamas, Lord Constable of the Royal Citadel, protector and cousin of Queen Evain of Telestria. For centuries, a strong bond of friendship has existed between the royal household and the magicians of Desi, and when called upon by the Elder Magi to help you in your quest, Queen Yvain pledged her support without hesitation. She has volunteered the service of Lord Adamas, who is to ensure your safe and unhindered passage through Telestria to the border of the Danark. At dawn, after snatching a few hours sleep, you are taken by coach to the East City Wharf, where an empty corn barge is waiting to ferry you up the river. Howlark is provided by eight large Gorkas, hairy ox-like creatures from the plains of Slovia, which are harnessed to the barge by change. They lumber along the cobbled towpath, continually kept in line by the stinging lash of the barge owner's soulhide whip. The next day, the barge arrives at a small river village called Lona, where the detachment of Lord Adamas' cavalry, resplendent in surcoat of scarlet and grey, provides you with horses for the cross-country journey to the fortified, si fortified city of Fonea. Are any of these things on the map? Oh yes, Fonea is on the yeah, map. Um, it's on my map, you know, I got found that large uh, atlas. Yeah, we've actually traveled quite a distance already. I'll try. I'll, I'll. I believe that.